Hello everyone, um, I hope you're all so well. Uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. I thought today I would do something a bit different um, because I never do anything to do with beauty or hair or anything like that. So I thought I would basically just talk you through my favorite products, beauty-wise, hair-wise, body-wise, um, and take it from there really, because these are things that I absolutely swear by. I buy again and again and again. Um, some things are brand new that I'll continue to buy again and again and again. Um, but yeah, I'm like so into beauty stuff. It's unbelievable. Like I love a luxurious bath with loads of stuff in it. Um, I love trying new things on my face as long as it's for sensitive skin. There's loads of different things you can get involved with with it. And I think it's a really nice way to experiment with stuff. Okay, so the first thing is this Redken Dry Texturizing Spray. It's called Windblown 05. And this is so good if you've got um, fine hair or hair that can be a little bit lifeless. I hate that word, but mine is. It takes so long to get it looking like this and it's not even that curly. So what I do normally is uh, dry it off with hair dryer and it'll be like a poker straight. Then I'll put some of this in at the root and then I'll put the curling tongs on it and then when uh, and then I'll use it to finish styling as well it's not sticky it smells gorgeous and it does actually last quite a long time I'm nearly out of that now so I need to must remind myself to get a new one but it's yeah it's a dry finishing spray but I'll link everything for you as well next up is this which is so nearly out and uh, this is my favorite perfume I've had this now three times and it does last forever um it's by DS and Durga, and it's called Debaza or Debaza. I don't know, I've never heard anyone pronounce it, so this is what you're getting from me. Um, but you can buy it at Liberty, and they've got a whole counter there just for this brand, and honestly, it's so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'll be um, getting this one again. I don't really know how to describe it. Oh God, it's just so, it's, a, it's light enough to wear in the daytime, but it's like such a beautiful, like sensual chic one for the night time too. Um, and the packaging's so cool. And that one. Um, next are my old faithfuls pie skincare. Um, you know how much I, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know how much I love pie. Um, I've worked with them so often and it all came from such an organic place because I'd already had some of their rosehip oil, which is the one I'm talking about now. Um, it just helps stressed out skin. I use it as like a treatment. I don't use it every day. I used to, and especially when I'm having a patch of time where my skin's a little bit unhappy, I'll use it every single day. Um, but it's just got so many restorative properties in it and it's a beautiful product. It's um, certified organic and vegan approved too. Um, and it's not expensive. And again, it lasts so long. So I couldn't recommend this more. Um, if you watched my LA vlog, you'll know that I went to Sephora and got a few bits whilst I was there. Obviously, I hadn't tried any of them up until up, up to that point, but now I've been using them loads and loads. So the first one was the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, and I like really warm tones um, in terms of makeup on my face because I think I've got blue eyes and blonde hair. I think anything to warm it up is really good for my skin tone. So um, this was what it looks like. And I've been absolutely using and abusing these two. So I'd use the burnt orange in the daytime because it's a bit um, bit more low key. And then at night time I'll use orange soda because it really pops and it's like quite bright orange. So you can't, and it, they're really pigmented as well so you don't need much. Um, but I'm sure I'll get to the rest of them at some point when I'm feeling more brave. But I honestly couldn't recommend this more. And I don't think it's that expensive for what it is too. So yeah, this is very, very good. Um, the next thing from LA was the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I just got the little mini travel one because I wasn't sure if I would like it. Turns out I love it and it works so well. And I've had a couple of nights out and day, you know, like a day drink and then it's turned into a night thing. And I've put this on and my makeup has not budged. Like, has not budged. I mean, you've got to wonder what's in it, but <laughs> it's been so good. And my skin never reacts badly to it or anything. So I would really recommend that. That's the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And um, the other thing that I got from LA was the Murad Invisiscar Resurfacing Treatment, and it, this one. And I talked to you before, I've talked to you loads of times about how I have real trouble with my skin. Um, and what happens is I get quite bad marks that are left behind from like the problem areas of my skin. And I get it around my chin here um, and my forehead too. 
and I was like let's just try it and see what happens I don't know how it works right <laughs> but it seems to be doing something the only downside with this is that it's very drying so on the patches where I put it you use it in the morning and at night time in the morning I'll wake up and it's like so dry so to combat that I'll show you what I've been using as well in a minute to combat that but um yeah so it makes it really dry but the the marks are fading so more power to it you just have to be prepared to have dry skin but then for the dry skin what I use is Walida skin food which is like honestly it's about 12 or 13 pounds and lots of beauty experts swear by it as like a treatment so if I've been on holiday and my skin is really dehydrated from the sun I'll whack a load of this on at night time it is super thick and heavy but it doesn't feel uncomfortable it smells really good so what I've been doing with this is just putting some on my chin and any parts where I've had some dryness from the um Murad product and it's been doing the trick and it's not it doesn't seem to have affected how effective the Murad product is either so that the, the marks are still fading but this is so good I think everyone should just have this in their handbag it's just for very dry and rough skin but honestly so good and like I say like I'm prone to breakouts and sensitive skin and it's been brilliant for me where are we oh okay so I went to have a facial recently um, and I mean this is probably like skincare 101 but I've really listened at this facial <laughs> And they said that every single day, no matter what I'm doing, where I am, I need to wear SPF on top of whatever moisturising products I've put on. And it has to be, you know, about 30, 30 uh, SPF 30 and upwards. And I've, I've avoided it in the past because they've always felt heavy, they've always felt a bit sticky, and I've never really liked the way they felt on top of everything and then underneath my makeup. So I found this, I'd have, I've had this for ages and I've never used it. And it's by Dermalogica and it's called the Prisma Protect and this is um, SPF 30. It smells really good. It's so lightweight. I don't even know I'm wearing it. And what I've started doing is just mixing it in with my moisturiser so then it goes on top. It goes on really easily. Um, so yeah, I could not recommend that more. You don't feel like you're wearing a layer of moisturiser and a layer of SPF. So that's a really, really good one. Um, so I'll put that on there. It's broad spectrum too really impressed with that and um, next one is a bit of a bougie one because it's a Chanel hand cream oh my god if you've not seen this where have you been it's brilliant um, and it actually does what it say it's supposed to do as well like it's a great hand cream it's really cool because it's got this lovely shape and then it just comes out you squeeze the it's like a really squeezy bottle honestly I wish you could feel it because it's so satisfying um, but yes this is a really good one to ha have in your handbag it smells really lovely and yeah good hand cream but will be the bougiest hand cream you ever own <laughs> um next up is so i don't know if i've talked to you before about how much i love a bath and like baths are life for me um and when we were find when we were moving into this house i was like got to the main bathroom i was like we're having it we're having it we're having it we're having it because it's got the biggest bath and it's one of them roll top ones as well it's dead fancy um so i was recently sent some um goop products to try and this is the i think it's the Mar yeah the martini so it's an emotional detox bath soak god knows we all need one of those and um, it smells really good the water goes a little bit of a murky color but i always feel so chilled when i come out um i've used there's only like probably a quarter of this left now i absolutely rinse it i'm due to i need to buy a new one um but i absolutely love it it's so good for relaxing and it, like i say it smells good and it's just I think aromatherapy and essential oils and stuff like that all have so much to answer for um, and I think they're all really positive things especially when we're feeling low or sad or anxious and upset um, so this is like my favourite thing ever for the bath. Um, I have another bath thing. Oh yeah, another bath thing keeping on that track is This Works. So This Works are my favourite for pillow sprays for sure, like I've got that here. Um, the deep sleep pillow spray is my favourite. I literally spray this stuff everywhere. The bed is basically wet every single night when I get into it because I absolutely douse it in it. So that's amazing. But the, uh, sticking to the bath theme, uh, this is the deep sleep bath oil. And it smells incredible. It smells just like the sleep spray. Full of beautiful scents ready to send you off for, for a good night's sleep. And I would just um, put a few drops of this in the bath. Um, 
along with that martini thing i will stick anything in it but it smells so good honestly oh it's so good um and it yeah it's just a beautiful thing to have in the bath to help you off um for a good night's sleep so can't recommend that enough i think i need to get a new one of those as well it doesn't sound like there's much in there though <laughs> um okay moving on to some skincare then um i recently found this brand i think it was by facebook advertising i don't know what i was doing on facebook in the first place but am i glad i went on um and it was um a brand called carbon therapy and it was for problem skin and it was in a, a time for me where i was like literally in the ditch of bad skin and i was like what am i going to do to get out of here um and it was this pack so you pay, I think it was about £40 and you got three products in it. And two of the products I've bought now, I think I'm on the third run of it. So the first product, I've not brought it in to show you because it's it's basically a black charcoal soap with um, antiseptic and vitamin E properties in it. And so I'll wash my face, that's how I cleanse my face. Wash my face with that morning and night. Um, and it can be a little bit drying, so to combat that... Um, the next product that we use with that is from Carbon Therapy 2 and it's a vitamin E and tea tree oil breakout control facial moisturiser um, and that's this. And so I use the soap and the moisturiser and then I use other bits and bobs in between but those are my main two things that I use now to keep my skin under control and so far so good. Like I've had it for months and my skin has been nowhere near as problematic. Obviously I get hormonal breakouts, who doesn't? I can't really control those except just give them TLC and let them breathe. But day to day, these two products have been so amazing. Um, and in and amongst that, which has made my skin quality so much better. After this facial that I told you about where they were like, use SPF. Um, they also gave me a, a product, well I mean I bought it. They also recommended a product by S, I think it's S or SE. Basically it's a live probiotic serum. serum. Serum, honestly, serum, um, and it's like a hundred quid. But honestly, I think it's the best hundred pounds I've ever spent. Um, I'm nearly due for a new one now, and I'm like, oh god. But I use this. I started out after the facial. They said use it two week for two weeks, uh, morning and night, every day. And I was like, right, okay. And my skin honestly went brilliant. It was so good. Um, and now I use it two to three times a week um, in the morning and in an evening, and then put my moisturiser on the top after that. Um, and honestly, I can't even tell you what it does. It is so incredible. And because it's live bacteria, it just works in harmony with your skin. Um, I'll put the link on for this and so you can read a bit more information about it. But my God, this is my absolute, absolute hero product. And I don't know what I'd do without it now. So I'm due for another one of those soon. Um, something that's in my handbag every single day without fail. Um, this is by it's a lip treatment a lip balm and i can't live without lip balm like there are many scattered in every single handbag and every single it's by the side of my bed it's by the side of the spare bed it's in the living room it's in the kitchen it's everywhere but obviously we all have our favorites and my favorite my new favorite is by a brand called lano lips um, and this is called the lemonade lip treatment and it is so good it's for very dry lips hydrating nourishing and refreshing it says and it's amazing. You can get it on Cult Beauty and they have lots of different variations of this, um, but this is my favorite one. Um, so I'll put a link on for it, but yeah, it's class. And it's like a little, it's like 90% balm, 10% shimmer. So without like, it's just great. Like it's everything you want in a lip balm. That's that. Then a couple of makeup -y bits. Um, the lipstick I'm wearing now, which I'm obsessed with. And I've, I think I first had this for my 30th birthday and I wore it on my 30th. That's two years ago now. Um, and this is by Charlotte Tilbury and it's called, I can't read it, Super Cindy. And it's nearly done. I've been wearing it so much. That's my second one as well, I think. Yeah, it is. Super Cindy. It is beautiful. Like, a really, really good colour um, and it's perfect for my skin tone too. Um, and it stays on and it doesn't taste like crap, which is always a bonus. That's great. Um, next is... Um, a brand called Make Beauty um, and they sell it on Net-a-Porter, they've got their own website too. This is called the Dew Pot and honestly I've ravaged it. It's my favourite thing ever. I wear every single day. There's like, you know, where there's like a divot where my thing's just been in and in and in and in and it's all mucky from all my moisturiser and my tinted this, that and the other. But anyway, it's called a Dew Pot and I don't know if you can see how shimmery it is. I've got some on. You might be able to see. I'm not sure what the light's doing here. 
Um, I've also, by the way, sat in my dressing room because my in-laws are around doing the garden at the front and they're also bickering about which plant needs to go where. So I was like, right, I can't do this here because all I can hear is you two. God love them. So I'm in the back room just uh, doing this for you. Anyway, dew pot make beauty and it is so good. I just put it all on my cheekbones. It's a bit tacky, but I really like that. It just depends on textures and things. I know people are funny about different things. I put some on at the end of my nose, on my cheekbones, and like in the bit of my lip here, which does have a name and I always forget what that's called. Well, the top of my cupid's bow, let's just say that. That's that. Then finally, I hear you cry, shut up about this beauty stuff, please, Linz, um, is this, I, I don't even know how you would, lid lacquer, that's how you describe it. It's by Surratt, no, yes, Surratt, yes. And um, you can get it from Space NK, and you get it from lots of people. Oh, I've really done a number on that, haven't I? This one is called Kira Kira, and basically, oh, shall I show you? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. You see that? It's basically like a silver shimmer, but it looks really dewy and glossy, like you've got a little bit of lip gloss on your eyelids, and I absolutely love it. It's not coloured, there is a coloured one, but I thought this one was really cool, because then you can wear a bold lip and just have a shimmery eye. Right, so that's your lot. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I've really liked making this one. Really chatty, just sharing all the things that I love. Um, so let me know if you've enjoyed it too and I can look to do more of them as I get through different beauty products um, as well. Uh, I'm now gonna go off and have a lash lift actually. So yes, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye.